Today's question which we are going to answer is the top warehouse KPIs. So let's start one by one. Uh, number one is the cost of receiving. This is the expense that warehouse incurs, incurs on the receiving process of each receiving line. This includes handling cost as well. Number two, uh, receiving productivity is determined in term of labor by measuring the volume of goods received per warehouse clerk per hour. Then, receiving accuracy, percentage of accurate receipts, that is the proportion of correctly received orders against the purchase orders. Then, uh, doctor utilization, percentage of how many of the total docs doors were utilized. Then, Number five is receiving cycle time, the time taken to process each receipts. Then put away cost per line is the expenses incurred for putting away stock per line including labor, handling and equipment cost. The next one is put away productivity, the volume of stock put away per warehouse clerk per hour. Then put away accuracy. This is Another uh, KPIs, percentage of number of items put away accurately at the designated location. The next one is the labor and the equipment utilization. Percentage of the labor and material handling equipment utilized during the put away process. So again then put away cycle time is total time taken during the entire process of each put away task. One of the major uh, KPI is the carrying cost of the inventory and we have already, uh, we many times we discussed about this in the inventory management and the warehouse management. This is the cost of storage over a particular span of time including the cost of inventory, capital cost, service cost, damage cost and the cost of obsolescence. The longer the stock stay in the storage, the higher is the cost of the warehouse. So it is one of the major cost or the main cost of the inventory, carrying cost inventory. Then storage productivity, volume of the inventory, store per square feet. This is the space utilization basically. Space utilization is the per percentage of space occupied by the inventory out of the total space available for the storage. So inventory turnover, uh, this is another uh, KPIs in the inventory which we have laid to the warehouse, the number of times the entire inventory passes through the during a period of time. Then inventory to sales ratio, measure of stock levels against the sales. This helps managers identify monthly increase in inventory against falling sales. So basically it is the ratio between the inventory what we have and the sales we have. We can calculate this monthly, weekly or even daily. Then picking and packing. Uh, cost. So the cost incurred per order line including handling, labeling, relabeling and packaging. So then picking productivity, the number of order lines picked per hour. <coughs> then picking accuracy. This is another major uh, KPIs accuracy. The percentage of order picked and packed without any error. So this is kind of error ratio. So labor and equipment utilization like we have discussed before, this is the percentage of labor and pick pack equipment out of the total labor and equipment utilization during the process. The next one is picking cycle time. Time taken into pick each order. Then order lead time. This is another uh, very important uh, KPIs in the warehouse and also part of shipping KPIs. The average time taken by an order to reach the customer once the order has been placed. This is one of the most crucial, like I you know, told you before, this is one of the most crucial KPIs for warehouse and distribution center. Then perfect order rate, like we already discussed about the errors. So the number of orders that warehouse delivered without any error, it indicates the success rate of the warehouse distribution center management basically so then next is the back order rate actually this is not 
a KPI of warehouse because it, other people or other departments are also involved in that. But again, as a KPI, this is the rate as which the rate at which orders are coming in from items that are out of stock. There are situations wherein unexpected spike in demand causes this. However, if the rate is consistently high, it is an indication that there is a lapses in planning and forecasting. Like I told you, it is not the warehouse fault. It is the there is something wrong with the planning and the forecasting. But we we use this indicator as to see that who's uh, where the, where are the error or where are the lacking of the planning or forecasting. Then last but not the least is the rate of return. This is everything. You know, it depends on the quality. It depends on the order reading but most probably the major chunk is come in the uh, due to warehouse management so rate of return the rate is at which goods once sold are being returned this is the most effectively used when segmented by reason for return so you we have to put the reason for each return that shows that who mis whose mistake was it and where we did any pro uh, mistake or error so these are the basically few of the uh, KPIs uh, of the warehouse where we have to look to make our uh, warehouse management much better and more effective and efficient for in the our whole supply chain and make our supply chain more effective and uh, responsive. So if you have any question you can you know write in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press bell icon.